Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Florence. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back home. It's lovely to have you back. Please, please, please do the needful. Let, let, let's hold the needful and please subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell beside it so you don't miss a video again. Please, it's big and big. Please. <laughs> So today we're going to be talking about 10 things that I personally think that you should have to your hair journey. You don't have to have this, it's just my opinion, you can do your research, just the things I think that you should have to your natural hair journey that will actually make some difference. So if you've not been seeing any difference, you've been doing all the things you're supposed to do but nothing is changing, then do this, have these high things to your hair care bag or to your stash and see if it makes a difference okay okay so i don't want to waste any time so i'm just going to rush through it number one is essential oils you would be amazed at the difference that essential oils would actually do to you they're expensive but then you know that once you have this you actually use it for a long time because you're concentrated and you only need like a few drops in whatever you are doing so have essential oils to your stash you can research about different kind of essential oils we have and just pick the ones that are important to you depending on what they do okay so essential oils have them to your stash. Number two, aloe vera juice. I have a video that details how to make aloe vera oil and aloe vera juice. If you don't know how to make it, you can go and watch it or you could just buy the store bought one. That, that's also an option. So aloe vera juice, if you've been having problems with moisturizing your hair, you want to incorporate aloe vera juice into your routine, it will do wonders for you. And next, Following aloe vera juice is flax seeds. I have a video also, can you imagine? I do have a video also about flax seed, how to make it and the benefits, the amazing benefits of flax seed, which is what I say in the video. So you should go ahead and also watch that video and incorporate flax seed into your routine. So when you mix flax seed and aloe vera juice into your moisturizing routine, you search for amazing things so just check it out use aloe vera juice as your base when you're making your flaxseed instead of water and you have amazing results okay next which is number four are clays clays are very they bring out your curls they help you with products build up they help your curls pop up especially if you've been trying to get your curl pattern and you haven't been getting it just Try to incorporate clays into your routine. Bentonite clay, kaolin, red sour clay. I don't know how that one is actually pronounced. I hope I pronounced it right. <laughs> but clays generally just research about them if you don't already know about them. Research they help your curls pop, they help your product build up and if you are a low porosity hair girl, you know you have products built up a lot. So clays can actually help you like, just take all of that away. And you know bentonite clay already works for the skin. I know that whenever I'm using it for my hair, I also pop some on my face. So it's, it's actually a good thing for you, especially if you're on a um, self-care Saturday or self-care weekend and you just want to take care of yourself generally as you're taking care of your hair, you're taking care of your face too, like that. So please think about it, okay? Next, which is similar to that, her Ayurvedic herbs. I know there has been a lot of noise about Ayurvedic herbs and from what I have heard, they are actually worth it. You can use them as a gloss or as a paste. You can get the mix, the strengthening mix or the moisturizing mix. You can get each of the herbs individually. If you're just um, venturing into the Ayurvedic space, I would advise that you just get a mix from a very reliable person or vendor. Just get a mix, the strengthening mix or the moisturizing mix and just see how it goes with your hair and try the gloss and the paste and just there are Ayurvedic um, influencers out there there are influencers there that are very good with Ayurvedic help so just research them one person I personally know is um, 
Pamela Young more here so you can just check her out and see what she says about Ayurvedic herbs if you're venturing into that space but they are a good thing for your hair they, they are what's the noise basically so check them out next thing I'll be saying which is number six is tyrants 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 all of us have shedding all of us hair shed our hair sheds but if you want to reduce the amount of hair that sheds from your hair every wash day, try tea rinses. Try tea rinses, green tea, black tea, coffee. Just try it and see how they work out for you. But don't expect that once you try it this time, that would be it. Try it over time, see how they work and know when to stop also. Just research into tea rinses. I have a video about how to apply the tea, how to make it and all that check it out and consider tearing to it especially if you're having a lot of shedding and you're worried about it okay next are emollients 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 what are emollients examples are glycerin onion they basically help to keep your hair moisturized it's like they're taking the um, moisture from the environment and just absorbing it into your hair that's basically what you do a lot of skincare products have emollients you can also invest emollients into your hair get glycerin hard it into your mix honey into your dehydrates and all that so emollients are also a good thing that you can also invest in your hair next which is number eight is apple cedar vinegar apple cedar vinegar is concentrated so when you want to use it you usually have to dilute it but a lot of people drink it a lot of people use it for their hair and a lot of other things acp is really good it helps with itching if you have itchy scalp if you have dandruff if you want to do a acp rinse you want to balance the pH of your hair just a lot of properties a lot of good things comes with acp so just try and incorporate acp into your um, regimen but make sure you research first it might not be for you you might you might not um want to harness the properties that it will give you so just research about acv and if you have i've mentioned it i've mentioned a little bit about what it does if you have itchy scalp dandruff if you want to do a ph rebalance of your hair acv rinses are good for you also when you're using bentonized clay acv is also a good um, mix to mix with it so it gives you a better result instead of just mixing water with better nice clay ACV is also very good okay. number nine would be eat protectant eat protectant should be your best friend if you like to straighten your hair if you like to do anything with it eat protectant should be your best friend i don't think i need to explain this they should just be your best friend so invest in heat protectant okay and the last thing i'm going to say today are air vitamins i know <laughs> i know but recently i came across this sugar bear vitamins that are so sweet according to the people that have taken them i'm not taking them they are so sweet and it's something like chewing gum that you can just pop in your mouth as you're going out in the morning and apart from the fact that they will actually care for your hair from inside out they would also care for your body, I believe. Their the vitamins, it's not as if they select what they do, they would also care for your body. So they killing two birds with one stone that way, taking care of your body and taking care of your hair that way. And we've always said it, I have always said it, that what you take in matters when it comes to your hair. Okay. So these are the 10 things that I think that you should think about, you should research about, you should actually sit on sleep on it <laughs> and think about incorporating it into your hair regimen if you have your way leave a comment down below if you already have this in your hair regimen let me know in the comment section what you use them for how you use them how you incorporate them into your hair regimen and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe please 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 subscribe 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 and turn on the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video bye